Well, good afternoon, folks. This is the Pen and Journal here. Uh, I'm going to do my last EDC ink pen video today. It'll be number six. Uh, and these videos are actually on the EDC pens or everyday carry pens that I, I have that I've used, that I've carried. Uh, not the ones that I just use at home or whatever. It's the actual ink pens that I have in my pocket or carry in a bag or whatever that I use daily. And there's been quite a few of them. You know, I, I'm probably like everybody else. You know, I like ink pens, so I tend to, you know, always look for the new ones or the what's better, you know. And, of course, my favorite, you know, is the Parker Jotter. And y'all know that. So, but I'm going to do the video. It's going to be three pens today. Uh, these are the three pens. Uh, so I've got one fountain pen in here. This will be the, and I'm going to do it last. This will be the Parker Jotter. The first one I'm going to talk about is the Embassy. This is a tactical pen, and then the, then the, another zebra pen. So this is this is a tactical pen called a tactical pen. Okay, uh, I bought this from County Com USA. Uh, County Com is a is a uh, uh, they they sell equipment. They make stuff. They're a government contractor, and they make stuff. I guess for the military, for the government to use, and they sell stuff to people, civilians. So they got a series of these, and these are called, I believe, the Embassy, if I remember right. I've had this thing a good while, uh, and so it's it's pretty. It it for a ta I mean, it's a tactical pen because it's pretty rigid. You can you can see. How thick the it's got a nice stainless steel pocket clip right here, uh, and you can see, you know, it's just hard, pretty, pretty, pretty hard, thick stainless steel pocket clip, and it's bolted up. It reminds me of a of a knife pocket clip. Those of you that that EDC a knife, you know, and there's probably some females out there that do, but uh, that reminds me of a knife pocket clip. That's how heavy duty it is. Uh, I'm not sure why they call this a tactical pen. Uh, I guess because of the of the what it's made of. It's made of a made of metal, so I don't know what type of metal. So I'm not even going to try to try to figure it out. I don't know if it's stainless, but it's it's got this black coating on it, and it it hasn't even scratched or anything. Uh, but and it's got it's got this this jimping on it right here. You know, it's like a knife. A knife has jimping on it. You can see this jimping right here. And all that is for grip. Okay, so this has jimping on it too, right here. And when you screw the when you screw the lid off, the top off, it's got some jimping down here. And that's where you where you put your fingers to write. And this pen, you know, it writes good. It's got a it's got a uh, a uh, Fisher Space space pen refill right here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, Boulder City, Nevada. You can probably see it right here. Uh, but uh, which is a is a good quality good quality refill. It come comes with that. Uh, and this this pen, everything is a screw off. I'm not I'm not crazy about the about the screw off tops. That's just my preference. I tend to like the the snap, the click of a ballpoint pen. This type. Uh, so uh, this is a screw off, but but this thing isn't going. I mean, this thing is is. I mean, it's durable, a tough pen. You could you could lay this in the road and run over it with your vehicle, with your truck or your car. You you could run. I think you could run over it with a dump truck. I mean, this thing is it's. I mean, it's solid. Uh, and the only reason I guess is is they call it, and I'm just guessing at this. I don't know for sure. Is the reason they call it a tactical pen, is you can grip it and use it as a punch or self defense or whatever. Because if you if you strike and a lot of a lot of self defense places teach you to use ink pens, so you can see the the round blunt the blunt 
end that's round. So if you if you hit somebody, you know, a woman can take this if she if she hits somebody, you don't have to be real strong. So if you hit somebody here or here or hit them in the eye, you know, and I'm not giving a self-defense class. I've had a little bit, but so if you hit them in the eye or hit them here or hit them here in the temple or even in the chest, you know, you're you're going to you're going to hurt somebody. You're going to do some damage. You'll probably get them off of you. So that's probably why this one of the reasons I'm guessing that it's it's called a tactical pin. But it's 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 heavy duty and uh you know it's you know you can use it this way, you know, and I'm not you know, I'm not trying to I'm just telling you why they call it a tactical pin. But it's it's a very uh uh robust pin. Uh you're not you're not gonna tear this pin up, trust me. You will not you will not tear it up. This pin will last you a life. I'm sure you can get the if you do something to this uh, pocket clip, you can probably get a replacement. But I'd like to see, I'd like to hear the story of how you bend it if you bend it, because it's it's pretty durable. You know, it just fits in your pocket. Uh, the reason I don't, I've, I've carried this and I like the pen, but the two main reasons I don't, and I'm not knocking it, is because it is a very good quality handmade pen. Okay. I'm not crazy about the screw off part, and this thing's heavier. You compare this to a jotter or a zebra, you know it's it's heavy. But if you're if you if you got a military uniform or a button up and down shirt that's a thicker canvas, uh, this this was an excellent pen to carry. Like I said, self defense. Uh, but you know, of course, you can use you can use any ink pen for that. Is a last ditch effort, you know, and, and you know, there's nothing wrong with that. If it'll protect your life, there's nothing wrong with keeping that in mind. But this this one would hurt you, you know, it would hurt somebody because it's got that hard blunt in. Uh, it writes pretty good. Uh, you know, Fisher Fisher refills right good. They're smooth. You can ride them upside down, and there there's some writing right there. You can see. You know, the ink's pretty good. You know, I like the cross and the, and the jotter refills better, but still good quality. A Fisher refill, Fisher Space pen is a good is a good cartridge. Uh, military uses them. If you use if you use right in the rain notebooks, this this is a perfect all weather pen. Another reason it's a tactical pen. You know, if you work out in the weather like I do sometimes, I do use right in the rain pads. So if you work out in the weather like I do and hear of hurricanes and tornadoes and ice storms or whatever, this is a good pen. So County Com, type in County Com and you can find these pens if you're interested in one. And like I said, I, re I, re I recommend this to a military or a police officer or fireman you know, or, or somebody that wants another way to protect themselves. I recommend this pen. And it's rights good and it's durable. It lasts you a lifetime. So you can get it from County Con. So that's the first one out of the way. Uh, second one I'm gonna do is, a, is another zebra. And I've done, I've done two zebra pens. I like zebra, I like zebra pens. They're priced very good. So if you're if you're looking for a metal pen and you're an entry level metal pen that 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 if you lose you're not going to be out that much money. You lose this one you're going to be out more money. If you lose this one you're going to be out more money. Uh, but 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 saying that I'm not knocking the quality because these zebra pens are nice pens for the money especially. Uh, and this is a L four O two. So you can see right there, L402, it's a zebra. It's, it's all stainless steel. It's got this rubber grip, which I do like. I like the rubber grip and, and, and you know, it, the Fisher ink, it, it writes okay. It's, it's not the best. I, I hope they'll improve it, but 
but it writes good enough for me. I, I would like them to improve their ink some. Uh, there's, there's, there's the fish. I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, zebra. Uh, but this is a, this is a good quality pen. It's got the metal tip. You know, I did the 701, which basically this is kind of like the 701, uh, but don't have the jimping type stuff right here. It's got rubber. Nice crisp click. It's got the rubber. Uh, you change the, if you want to change the cartridge out, which you'll have to eventually, you just screw this tip off right here. Okay, stainless steel, all stainless steel. Don't drop it. So you got your cartridge right here and it's plastic, but they, they've got the metal ones now. So they're improving the cartridges in them. They got the metal and they got blue and they got black. And they, I don't know if they got other colors. You can look on Google and check that out. This part here is a, is a, metal, is a plastic insert, insert with this rubber on it, but the rest of it stains. So it's a, it's, a good, it's a good durable pen, okay? It's a good durable pen that, that to me, you know, and I, I'm like anybody else. I like, I like the way you know, certain pens look, and that, that might make me buy one. You know, the good ink, the way it writes is number one, but I like I like the way this pen looks. Uh, I like the pocket clip. You see, it's got the little ball bearing right here. You can see that uh, right here, the little ball bearing, uh, and it it slides in your pocket smooth, and it it it's gonna stay in there. And it's a good it's a good sturdy pocket clip. It's not going anywhere. You know, so this. This pen here would be another good one for military people, police, construction guys, guys that work in the field like me, or somebody that just likes to journal. A good looking pen. An inexpensive good looking pen. It's not gonna break the bank, and if you lose it, it's not gonna cost that much to replace it, okay? Good quality, good quality, uh, well made. I don't know where these things are made. I, they may be made in China, you know. Uh, but I'm not sure, so I'm not going to say. Uh, the, like I said, the ink, the ink's fair. Uh, they can improve their ink, you know, but I know there's a lot of these ink pens that are sold. Uh, a lot of people carry these. I, I, I notice people, what you know, I always look and see what somebody's carrying in their pocket, and a lot of people use these zebras for the fact that they're good quality stainless steel pens and... They're made well, and the price of them is very reasonable, you know. So, in, in this pen, last a lifetime, and you can use this for self-defense. I'm not going to say nothing else about the self-defense part of it, but the Zebra 402. It's another Zebra ink pen, you know. They got the 301s, the 701s. Uh, 402 has the rubber grip. Uh, another great ink pen. If you're interested, another great ink pen. Uh, Walmart, Target, uh, office supplies have them. Uh, get it online. A lot of places. So, uh, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting paid to advertise none of these ink pens. These are the ones that I actually have bought with my money and paid for. With my money, and that I've actually used. And if it's a bad product, I'm not even going to do a do a review on it. You know. Uh, it's just not it's not worthy of your time to do a review on a bad pen so or any any bad product whether it's a whether it's a knife or whatever so the third pen is 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 actually a fountain pen and and I know man I got a lot of fountain pen purists out there uh, this this is a Parker Jotter and this is a, if if I if I EDC if I everyday carry an ink a fountain pen this is it Okay, this will be it. Uh, and the reason why, because it's not real expensive, but it's, it's good quality. It's a good looking pen. It's stainless, all stainless, and I love the stainless steel ones. My favorite Parker Jotter is a stainless steel. Uh, but this pen, you just you snap the top off. This pen writes good. And I know all these people got these two hundred dollar. Oh, they they're right okay. It writes good to me. I don't I don't own 
a hundred dollar ink pen. I'm gonna show you two of the other ink pens that I own. I own three and I'm gonna show you the other two that I don't EDC, but I EDC, you just put your cap back on, but I EDC a fountain pen sometimes and this is it. So this pen writes nice, you know, it, it's, of course it's been setting up for a little while, so, but it, the ink's pretty good and smooth, you know. So, you know, the more you write with these fountain pens, the better the better they write. You get that ink flowing and get it going. That's a good saying, flowing and going. Y'all can use it if you'd like. Get the ink pen flowing, you're going to get going. So it writes good. It, it's a good field pen. If you want a field pen, if you want a fountain pen. Now, you cannot write on... If, you, if you're one to use the write in the rain stuff, uh, tablets or, or notebooks, you cannot use a fountain pen on them. That's, that's the only drawback. And you can't use uh, gel ink. But writing on a paper pad, writing at home, writing in your journal, taking notes, whatever. I love this pen. And I know the people that's, you know, got the hundred, oh, well, well, it don't matter. I, I like this ink pen, and it, it's a very reasonably priced. This pen's probably under 25 bucks. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, one second, I'll tell you. Uh, I believe they make make them, make them in, uh, uh, this is how high tech I am, I'm using my phone. Uh, I believe they make them in, in colors. Uh, let's see, Parker Jarter fountain pen. Yeah, see, they make them in colors. I see a blue, and you can't, you're not going to be able to see with this phone, but I see a blue and I see a black one. Uh, so I think they have a red, uh, but but they got them in different colors now. Uh, so uh, uh, the stainless steel one is $19.99, okay? Not bad for a nice writing ink pen. So if you lose it, you know, yeah, it's 19 bucks. That's a little more than a zebra. And don't buy the zebra fountain pen. I'm sorry. I've got one. They, they need to improve them. They need to improve the nib. And they may be doing it. I don't know. But this thing writes good. And I know you people out there that use expensive fountain pens won't agree with me. But that's fine. So the blue one is $19.99. So the colored ones, you know, Basically the same price. Now, you know, it, that's going to depend on where you buy it at. But as far as an EDC ink pen, I mean, an, I'm sorry, EDC fountain pen, this is what I like. And this is a great pen. The only part I guess you, I could knock would be this plastic and this plastic. But that's okay. And another little hint, when you when you write, you see the nib, line your line your Line your pocket clip up with this part of the nib. That way, that way, when you write, you don't have the you don't have the pocket clip digging in, so you don't have the pocket clips up top. So when you write with a fountain fountain pen like that, get to get to get the uh, pocket clip lined up with the cap, the 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 uh, nib. You know, an ink pen you can you can you can write any way, so it, it works out better. But uh, and and I don't use the bottles. Now I know I'm not a I'm not a fountain pen purist. I don't use the bottles. I don't pull my ink in and put it in. So I, I use I still use the I still use the refills. I like the refills. You know, if I use this for a week, I check it. A week or less, I check it. So. I've got I've got several refills, and you can get these. I know you can get these online, and you can get them at Staples. I think you can get them at uh, Office Depot too. But you can see there's the ink right here. So, you know, I use the I use the cartridges, and and I carry this little uh, container. It's it's a little metal container. It had mementos in it. So it's perfect, it's perfect for fountain pen refills. And that's what is in here is the, the refills from this Parker. 
So I carry this in my bag, and it's it's a great little, you know, if you if you use these little containers, you can you can make all kinds of things out of these. And one of the things you can use it for is band-aids, or you can use it for your 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 uh, refills on your fountain pen. Fits perfect. It it fits the Lamy. Fits the Lamy one. You can. I've got Lamy refills, and these are dry. And we're going to talk about them in just a minute. Uh, and the Pilot. But these are my three fountain pens, so so I'm going to talk about them. But as far as a good, like I said, I'm probably going to get some comments about from the fountain pen people, which okay, you know. I love fountain pens just as much as anybody else, but I'm, I'm talking about an everyday carry fountain pen. I'm not going to everyday carry, I ain't going to carry a $100, $200 fountain pen in my pocket in the field. I'm going to do the $19 one, the stainless steel. I love this pen, okay? So this this is the three pens that that's my last on as far as the EDC. I'm going to do a couple of lead pencils, not today, but I'm gonna do my next video will be on my EDC lead pencils. But since I'm since I've started with the fountain pens, I've got three fountain pens total. And I've got the Parker, I've got the Lamy, and I've got the Pilot. And I've talked about the Parker, so I'm gonna talk about these just for a little bit, not much. But these these are more expensive. These are under probably fifty or under, give or take. Uh, I'd have to look. Let me look. You know, I don't want to give you false information. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to start with a pilot. Let's see. Okay, the pilot fountain pen. Okay, so let's see. Here's one for 29. There's different, Pilot makes different ones, but the Metropolitan, which is this, is $22.49. This is a lot of fountain pen for $22.49, and it's on Amazon. I'm not advertising for Amazon. Uh, the, my exact pen, this green one, on Amazon is $23.58. Uh, so, and the Lammies are a little more expensive. Uh, Let's see, I'm gonna check the Lamy for you right quick. I don't mean to be using my phone, but hey, I said I don't have a studio. These are just, you know, I don't have time for all that stuff. So let's see, Lamy fountain pen. Okay, so 23, 23.95 give or take on this Pilot Metropolitan. I love this thing. This is a great one for sitting down at home at your desk or at a table, whatever. If you want to journal for a little while, this, this is a good one to keep in your drawer. So the Lammies, let's see. Let's see what the what the price of them. Okay, so the 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 uh let's see the plastic ones are 21 2163 but this is the aluminum this one is 3477 the the plastic ones basically have the same nib and everything that that this one does it's just the colors are different uh and and feel of it i like the metal ones but i, I would buy a plastic lamy so one of the things i do like about this lamy is this pocket clip. Same way this screws off, it's plastic right here, and you got a refill. So I prefer the cartridge refills. I just buy me a pack of them. I'm not worried about it. $34, give or take. Get you you can get a little bit better. Still not a hundred, two hundred dollar one, but these Lammies right good. Pilot Metropolitan. Plastic right here. It's metal. It's all metal, it's got this design on it. And it's got a cartridge, which is empty. And as a, as a hint, when you when you change the cartridge out, pull the cartridge out, and what I do is I take warm water, and I'm not an expert, but I take and run warm water 
on this cartridge on this tip right here and run it through the nib and clean the old ink out because that ink will get dry it'll get dry so you need to clean it out each time I always clean them out and it makes them right better clean it out and dry it out you know kind of shake it off take a napkin let it dry out then you put your cart maybe 30 minutes or an hour then put your cartridge in and these cartridges they just snap in uh, so you just screw it in like this simple you see the nib it's got a good nib it's got some plastic to it but there's some of the the more expensive fountain pens have have uh, brass nibs I got you know better nibs but this is a good nib for everyday writing this is a great pen both of these are great pens to keep in a drawer if you want a journal if you like to journal or you want to take notes and and you know I'm not knocking them for everyday carry either you know they these are good everyday carry pens if that's what you want to if that's what you want to carry if you want to put one in your pocket you know I, I do love the wire pocket clip by the way if you want to put it in your pocket or you want to put a couple of them in your bag your pack or your purse or whatever I'm sure the ladies will love them you know they have all kind of colors in neat both of these these are these are nice pens for the money they're nice pens so think about that you know carry your carry your fountain pen refill just as a little tidbit little advice uh, do it yourself make it a do it yourself fountain pen refill holder it's just a it's just a mint container so, or you can put them in an Altoids so there you go uh, just a little bit of information on that but this this will end my video uh, I hope you enjoy it put a comment you know, no politics, please. No, no nasty comments, whatever. Put a comment. Tell me what you like to EDC. Tell me your thoughts about the three fountain pens uh, uh, that, that that I showed you today. Tell me if you like them, or tell me if you if you write with a fountain pen what you like. I would like to know. Uh, I'm interested in knowing what you use. I'm not gonna get upset if you say you don't like them three. That's that's you. That's your personal preference. So like my channel, hit the bell, and if you like this video, give me a like. God bless you, and be safe out there, and just keep writing. Right on. God bless you.